morning in Europe, good evening in the United States, and、uh, good afternoon in the Asia Pacific region. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to this session. I'm Ryotaro Okada from Japan, living in Tokyo. I'm one of the chapter leaders of OWASP Japan. I'm also the CEO of Asterisk Research, a company focused on supporting AppSec at、uh, companies. And we've collaborated with many P certs of industry and many board members of、uh, leading companies in Japan. I'm happy to talk to you today. I hope we have developers, decision makers, security practitioners, and general internet users as well. Joining. Please feel free to comment with questions or reactions on Slack, at Twitter, and anywhere I can read. The Messenger apps is welcome during this session. Or you can write to me after that. Both of my GitHub and Twitter accounts are OKDT, and my email address is realtaro at oasp.org. If you hear something you like, please support me by repeatedly hitting the eight key in your comments. Eight, 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 eight represents clapping in, in Japanese net culture. And、uh, if you are Japanese and、uh, if you want to listen to this session in Japanese, I want to have some opportunity in another day. And so, Please pay, be patient and enjoy this session until the end. So, first of all, let me congratulate everyone on the OWASP 20th anniversary. My first involvement with the OWASP community was 2003. Uh, I read the original OWASP guide document. And I started exchanging information locally、uh, and with several web security communities in the US, like WASC and yes, OWASP. At that time in Japan, we just started the WASP forum, Web Application Security Forum, with friends. I remember that、uh, for the kickoff event, Mr. Jeremiah Meyer Grossman came to have a keynote speech in Tokyo. This organization is still available and it hosts the hardening project, which I will introduce in this talk. The early Japanese translation of various WASP documents was seen in、uh, SourceForge.net、uh, today. One of these OWASP guide version 1.1 and OWASP top 10 released with、uh, Mr. Takashi. From top and printing. So please check it. It's really interesting. And、uh, in 20,、uh, 2011, we restarted the WASP local chapter in Japan with, as you know,、uh, Sen Ueno and、uh, some really powerful community leaders. Check this. Now they're More than 10,000 users in the Japanese WASP community. Actually, I've heard from the ex、uh, the executive director of the WASP Foundation t h e most frequent visitors to wasp.org are from Japan. I'm pleased that so many people want to study about application security despite the challenge of not being native English speakers. Thank you to everyone in the OWASP community and OWASP Japan community for all your contributions and support. We have a m o u n t of memories and about the OWASP Japan history. Yeah. We could listen to various talks about shift left in this conference, right? So, what is shift left for you guys?、Uh, we all knew, know the 
the importance of integrating security early on in the development process. Yes, as you know, development shouldn't rely on the last one mile testing and it doesn't fit the DevOps cycle at all. Transform the death march to defeat the vulnerabilities before release timing into the continuous work for the secure design and code. This looked like the fundamental first goal in shift to left, but at the same time, we've all experienced problems and frustrations trying to achieve this. Why? It is only one aspect. Is it a dev-centric approach or sec-centric approach? In reality, have you ever seen the development team and the security teams working well together? The truth is it's the opposite of that. <laughs> they generally don't work well together. And this situation is where we need to start the shift left process. Developers spend most of their effort fulfilling new feature requests and fixing bugs. Security can often be a burden for the already busy development teams and the security guys barge in with their testing and reviews. Here may be how the conversation usually goes. We've got all these vulnerabilities and this is a risky implementation. Uh, do you mean developers aren't work hard enough, sec, sec team? Uh, no, no, but they are not applying the guidance we gave them in the pipeline, and this system lacks security. We may need security tools. With the time pressure of the release schedule, these delays must be very stressful for everyone. Now we need to change ourselves to have a higher perspective. That the relationship between dev and sex should not remain bad. How can we improve this problem? Let's think about what we can do. The most famous OWASP document is, yes, OWASP top 10. This shows the top, the top 10 most critical risks. It's not just a top vulnerabilities risk. It's updated every three or four years and the latest draft was published this week. Uh, and it hasn't been finalized uh, yet, but uh, almost finalized, but has attracted a lot of attention in Japan. The latest version has uh, good content and reflects current development issues well. However, we need to be both kind and careful uh, when sharing this document with developers. There's a big mind gap between developers and security guys. Finding a new failure from the top 10 list can be an unfortunate event. From the developer's point of view, uh, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Here's a different top 10 list. Do you want, are you interested in that? The top 10 reasons developers dislike security top 10. At the last RSC conference, Mr. Chris Romeo introduced this list. Uh, please take a look. What do you think? Developers think security tools are loud and inaccurate and that security guys never celebrate our successes. Security changes its mind all the time and the security process, uh, our processes are complicated, difficult and undefined. They don't know why people put so much effort and time into security. And this is a big one. No one ever tells developers how to do security. Which part of the story resonates uh, with you the most? Remember, this is the developers talking to security people. Either way, we need to focus on the common goal. If the, the old approach doesn't work, uh, we need to change it. 
suppose you want to collaborate effectively in with the dev team. In that case, it is essential to understand their primary languages, typical development environments and uh, frameworks they use. Yes, it is possible to point out security vulnerabilities uh, without learning how to code uh, to the detail. But how can you communicate with other stakeholders if you don't understand the whole components, languages, uh, uh, way of thinking? This gap is mutual understanding can lead to serious failures. There must be cases uh, where the team uses components and the platforms on AWS, Azure, and GCP set up with minimal configuration. We shouldn't be pointing out uh, how they missed the specific details in the HTTP headers, uh, for example. Uh, still, instead, we should deal with the effective configuration on the platform first. A note, uh, WASP Top 10 uh, 2021A05 security misconfiguration category pointed out 90% of applications were tested for some form of misconfiguration. At the very least, uh, we should be able to do reviews using their development environment stop overwhelming the team with black box test result stop introducing tools without mutual understanding if we do not stop doing so it leads to unhappy results and failures <clears throat> additionally I, I would like to encourage everyone to be aware of a04 insecure design and a09 and security logging and monitoring failures categories. Have you ever take, took a look, taken a look? Uh, because uh, with analyzing the current ops functions and its quality, and uh, it is getting easier to get consensus how design should care ops more. This information should be mandatory for their risk profiling. So, this is the important tips uh, to make the planning and the designing uh, steps clear. Yep. So to properly shift to left, we need to focus on this three point. Uh, we need to focus on one, maximizing mutual understanding and cooperation to know how business goal and risks relate to defenses in order to decide on the right defenses. Three, keep up to date with the latest security knowledge and keep our perspective fresh. So let me introduce the next and the main contents uh, today. In Japan, we have a security competition project we've been holding for uh, almost a decade uh, called the Hardening Project. It is an eight-hour security competition. WASP Japan collaborates with this project and our members are heavily involved in both the technical and operational aspects of the event. And I imagine you are running a virtual e-commerce shopping site on the cloud and are responsible for its management system and desktops. Your team wants to update the, all of this and keep the e-commerce business online continuously and support its growth to earn money. And, and what, but, uh, what happens if the servers and the endpoints uh, have potential vulnerabilities or weaknesses? And what happens if attackers use every means possible to exploit these weak points through cyber attacks? What role do you need? Every role will be needed. 
And、uh, of course, you don't want to hurt or bother their customers with security incidents or misoperations. So the team has to、uh, harden the system and keep it available to users. The hardening project gives participants this challenging experience for eight hours. The team with the highest sales amount. Uh, and the、uh, score at the end wins,、uh, in the, wins the com competition.、Yeah? Participants come from all over Japan, from service companies,、uh, government agencies, the defense force, and the cyber police,、uh, both engineers and students, as well as people involved in IT systems for their daily job. Uh, we divide the 100 or more participants for each event into 10 through 12 teams. Here are some pictures from the past events.、Yep. Once the competition starts, the teams、uh, log into their environments and analyze the settings、uh, so many servers and how many endpoints are there, or something like that. And、uh, the online store faces a series of cyber attacks. Yeah, spy guns. <laughs> so they,、uh, they will try to、uh, steal personal information, taking down servers and web pages, and so on. Teams deal with、uh, attacks. And can improve their web applications lively or use vendor services. Yeah. To strengthen their defenses. Yes, here is marketplace. They can purchase,、uh, procure some、uh, additional defense items. In addition to recovering from technical failures, teams, handles,、uh, teams should handle、uh, customer care and support. Each team's sales amount is displayed in real time on the competition scoreboard. Actually, this is developed by Sen, Mr. Sen Ueno, a co leader in WASP Japan. <laughs> yeah, really cool. It, it is changing、uh, for each competition. Yeah, real scenarios、uh, from recent、uh, incidents are included in the competition. This is the secret.、Uh, the goal is to contribute to everyone involved, including root breakers, defenders, and builders. They can update their knowledge about the incident response. In addition to dealing with customer complaints like no privacy policy being posted, A、team sometimes have press conferences where major incidents happen. Their public relations response is also evaluated. Yeah. After the hardening day competition, we have a presentation, a session to review results on a different day. We call this the softening day. This is the second secret. All teams and attackers. Give presentations to share and summarize their activities. What strategies were successful? Which techniques were effective、uh, and which were not? The presentations are available on YouTube Live. We have hours and a party at the end. Yeah, here are some comments we received from participants. I run and maintain an e commerce site at work,、uh, but taking part in the hardening pro pro project was my first experience dealing with real time security defense. It was a scary and a spine chilling experience. It was great to see firsthand collaboration between different roles in the team, in the same team.、Uh, another guide. 
And uh, in the real world, you don't know, you don't experience a day where so many problems uh, like hardening project keep occurring one after another. It was a tough challenge to maintain and brush up sense of urgency and respond calmly. That's great. And it's fantastic to see the battle between skilled attackers and defenders. Yeah. So the first event was in Tokyo and then in Okinawa, Kansai, Hokkaido, and Kyushu over the past decade. So we could collaborate with the each local engineers and waspers, right? And during the, the pandemic, we held it online. This is always a wonderful opportunity to update our security knowledge and way of thinking. Applications for this year event have started. Yeah. And the online event will be in November, welcoming Global participants in the future is being planned. If you can use Japanese, uh, please come in. That's all role, uh, all kinds of role uh, are welcome this event. Stay tuned. Hi, did you find some message or lessons from hardening project or uh, WASP Japan activities? So how can we enhance AppSec over the next decade? So is eliminating vulnerabilities only doing this uh, enough to create a free and wonderful internet society? Security engineers who only talk about uh, fixing vulnerabilities or finding vulnerabilities should be kicked out of their DevOps loop nowadays. So let's shift to it. Of course, finding vulnerability is very important and fixing vulnerabilities is really important as well. But if we make a new security enhancement to guide the proactive controls for the next decade, the list should include concepts like security should not be a silo. We need to act more like guardrails not gatekeepers. Discussing the most effective fixing points and timing with developers or stakeholders, it is key. To work as a team, we should know the language they use and the environments they placed, as well as how to write code and use tool. Security guys, tools, and knowledge need to be updated frequently. Unfortunately, we know uh, there are a number of outdated OASP documents. If it is needed, let us update that. Security guys must explain how to remediate risks, even if it, even if it is a plan B. So let's discuss about how to find uh, the problem or issues by themselves. So the common goal is to achieve security and praise our common success. There's various progressive methodologies like shift left in the world. You know, let's do shift left for a progressive purposes and succeed this together. In summary, again, to properly shift left, we need to focus on maximizing mutual understanding and cooperation. And second, know how business uh, risks uh, relate to defenses in order to decide on the right defenses. And third, keep up to date with the latest security knowledge and keep our perspective fresh. We should not be afraid to look at and if need be, change the knowledge we already have and the means we currently use. Frequent sharing of findings and experiences and getting feedback is critical 
for ensuring all of the above. From this point of view, joining open collaboration like OASP project, hardening project, any other open project, updating that project is really beneficial, important and welcome. In Japan, a lot of specialists from various companies have joined us and, and uh, responded so quickly to our call for WASP top 10 translators and uh, editors. Uh, everyone comes from various positions uh, from various companies, uh, but we can see how important it is to collaborate together for shared goal. Join WASP and shift left. Hey, let's do this pause. Uh, raise your left hand and uh, point to your right side. You can encourage your colleague to shift left. Shift left, shio. <laughs>